Hey, hey, it's Coach. How are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to the second channel for the first time. We are on FIFA 22 career mode on Johnny Sports 2, and that is for a good reason. Today is the first day, the first episode of the Academy. Yes, a new Youth Academy career mode is being started as we speak in front of your freaking eyes, lads. Watch and enjoy if you do so make sure to support this channel as much as you can hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new because there's so much of this series coming towards you and it's going to be great it's going to take a long time until we are going to be somewhat competitive in the top divisions of world football and it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful grind. Support it by the wheel. You are seeing a bunch of X and O's on there. I will explain that in a bit. We are on PC for FIFA 22 for this series. And that means we get to use the mods. Yes, we are going to be using the cheat engine, the cheat table. We are going to be using the live editor. We are going to be using the realism mod right now to start off with. That is the first mod I have installed to get the teams like Juventus and stuff licensed in the game. Yes, they are licensed. We have a bunch of players' faces updated. We have um, fans holding up different flags and stuff in the stadiums. All that stuff has been updated through this mod. But going into the future, if you guys are using any mods on PC, let me know in the comments down below. We can implement them instantly into this career mode as well. So I am open to any mods and every mod so let's have some fun today is the start let's smash that like and let's jump right into the new series let me show you what the team is going to be looking like and let's choose what our kit our our crest and stadium everything is going to be looking like in today's first first episode but i gotta say i'm so excited to see who we're gonna have coming in in the first youth scat report as you guys know when you start off a, a career mode you have a scat report coming through and it's going to be huge. And of course, this one is a create a club series. It's not the big one that I have planned for the main channel, but this one could be just as big and even more entertaining because it's based around the Youth Academy. So let's get started. The team we're going to be choosing to replace is going to be Hullpool because I have zero connection to this squad. We're going to let them go. And the team that we're going to choose as our opponents is going to be Leighton Orient. Yes, as you guys might know, we did have a Leighton Orient career mode in the past in which we did use Youth Academy players. Last year, we had a Youth Academy career mode series in which we created absolute legends. The likes of Rogerson, the likes of um, Akinabi Park, Ersoy. My dad was in that squad. And I can tell you right now, the manager of this team, as chosen by the viewers, is going to be a former player of that series. So I'm excited to show that to you in a bit as well. In terms of the kits, I am not too sure if you can apply kits to a created club. If you can, I am going to be coming up with my own kits for our team now in the past if you guys remember we did have pc career modes in which we implemented certain kits so if that is a possibility we will go ahead and do that in the future for sure as we get more and more into this series the more and more upgrades the more and more mods will be coming in as i get a little bit of an experience with the mods on fifa 22. now my thought behind today's epi is that we don't necessarily start off with the biggest kits. We start off with some of the most basic kits you can get because we are a new club that doesn't have a huge sponsorship yet. So I'm thinking we start off with EA Sports kits. Yes, the lowest of the lowest levels is where we're going to start off. And this is the color scheme that I personally really like for the club for now. Uh, we're going to go with like a purple and a light blue. It gives that spacey vibe that we have going on in the room as well. So that is the color uh, color set that I want to go with to begin this series. So I'm really excited about that. Now, this one was kind of... I kind of messed that one up there. Um, that would be like a... Oh, that's the second color. Oh, I see. Uh, no, that's actually the third color. I'll make that dark purple. That's going to be the first one. The first kit of our series. I know it looks trash, but that's the whole point of it. We want to start off looking like trash and building our way up to an amazing, amazing club. So that is going to be our home kit and that is our away kit. We look like an absolute trash team, but 
I'm okay with that. That is just the beginning and it's going to be fine. We're going to work our way towards success. Now, I'm wondering, what do I go with in terms of badges, man? There's so there's so much stuff here that I don't I don't, I don't necessarily enjoy. I mean, this is like the Piemonte Calcio uh, badge, isn't it? This one's like a most basic one possible. This one's kind of dynamic somewhat. I kind of enjoy that. This one is a bit meh. Most of the teams that I know that have this, I mean, Real Madrid have this. They are successful, but I'm not interested in being Real Madrid. Uh, this is going to be a tough choice, isn't it? I can't really tell which one I like. Now, maybe we start off with something like this. I, I kind of like this. It's like a football coming off the ground and going into the skies, just like our youth academy. It will start off trash and build its way up. I kind of like that vibe. So maybe we're going to go with that. Why did that disappear just now, though? Where, where the hell did it go? Hello? Where did my crest go? That's the one. And I want it in a different color. Why is it like swapping over like this? This is really annoying. I like that blue. I like that blue a lot. So I'm going to go with that one right there for now to start off with. I hope there's going to be mods that allow you to customize the crests even more. But the stadium that we're going to go with, guys, is going to be um i guess this small stadium is kind of fair Nine thousand people yeah we're going to take the smallest of the smallest ones to start off with and build our way up throughout the seasons to some of the biggest stadiums in world football just like the kit itself we're going to start off very low and work our way up fitting to our kits and our team colors we're going to go with the light blue and the purple color here as well for the stadium that is going to be how we're going to build up our our stadium for now the pitch we can't go too crazy on it. I mean, we could. I don't like those squares. I really do not like those squares. I, I enjoy these horizontal lines. They kind of help you to understand where your players are, if you're offside, yes or no. So it's it's a little bit of a visual help for me, the old man, to go ahead and make the right choices. We haven't earned anything in terms of changing things here as well. We're going to start off with the most basic set of nets as well. And the atmosphere is a big one. Of course, we got to choose something here. I think it's only right for the club chant to go with the Ajax one because they are based around the whole Youth Academy thing. They bring out incredible talents all the time. I'm going to go with the Ajax one, guys. And in terms of the songs, I'm just going to keep it on. Oh, hold on. Iceland? Hold up. Oh, oh yeah. We're going to go with that one. I like that. Yes, that's the one I want. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Walking out to that, that's sick. That's going to pump up these youngsters for sure. I'm already pumped up. I'm going to go to the gym. Now, here's the biggest part of this, guys. We are going to go with a half-star team, all right? That's what we're going to go for. And as, as we scroll through this, it gives us a random squad all the time. So this is one of the biggest moments of the career modes, just getting the squad that we're going to be getting. Now, very young is going to be the setting that we're going to have, of course. The budget is going to be the smallest possible, 1 million only. Our expectations are going to be extremely small. We are a small club. There's not much to expect from this club, but here it goes. I'm going to be choosing it randomly. You see me turn around. Hold on. I'm using a freaking scuff controller on this thing, so here it goes. I'm going to be going right, left, right, left, and all that until... I'm going to stop, okay? And that's when I'm going to feel the team that we're going to get. So here it begins. Bro, this is such a weird experience. I really want an amazing team. And I'm going to stop right now. This is the team that is going to take us into the future. Some of these players might be the absolute legends down the line. Some of them might be young. Some of them might become huge names in this series. Going up to the ratings of like 90 as well. Manning, Rayner, Powell, Thornton, Lamb, Whitaker, Green, Sane, Corbin, uh, Cooney and Lamb. Here it begins, guys. We have the Lamb Brothers. We have two Lambs, a CDM and a goalkeeper. Oh, please be young. Please be young. Oh, here it begins. I'm so excited. In terms of rules for this series, guys, uh, for now, we have no rules. Uh, we, we could implement rules if you guys want me to. Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, the wheel is going to be used. So let me explain to you how we are going to be using the wheel in a bit after we have looked at the team and all that stuff. So I'll see you guys then. But for now, let me see my team. Here he comes. Eden Osoy. Yes. 
the beast himself is going to be becoming the coach of the academy Ursoy is the coach as requested by so many people if you remember he was the incredible center attacking midfielder that took our team to incredible heights in the youth academy career mode in fifa 21 and now he is the manager of this squad it has me so excited i just realized that his suit kind of fit, uh, fits our team that's dope a pre-season tournament 840k that is going to be a huge amount of money for this youth academy career mode we have to play that pre-season tournament because we need it for the scouts so eden osoy is the coach of this team the academy is being led by someone who already had the experience of playing in the youth academy he knows what it takes so now let's jump in into the youth academy what do we have what do we have please 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 Ooh, this is big <coughs> what's the scout looking like ah one star one star okay what's the player looking like though oh please please do we have anyone good in here please yes oh my god <laughs> yes connor harvey youth academy career mode starting off with an incredible incredible player 67 rated 82 and 94 sign him put him into the starting lineup let's take a look at him in a second oh my god bro are you kidding are you freaking kidding we have found an incredible incredible talent to start off with but let's take a look into our team manning left wing decent pace three star three star 32 years old he'll have to go rayner 23 years old a youngster right here 74 pace on him with a bit of decent shooting but instantly replaced through that youth academy beast that we have just found powell coming in with decent pace 24 years old lamb coming in at the age of 27 so he's going to be replaced whitaker coming in at the age of 29 63 rated right there very well balanced stats thornton coming in with five star weak foot 25 years old sadly green is 31 years old corbin 28 cooney coming in 23 that's okay sane please be young eyes ah, 31 okay so we don't have the ideal setup yet we only have maybe one or two decent looking players here glover 22 bert 19 okay so the bench is filled with a bunch of youngsters williams 22 years old tyler 24 zauk here looking uh yeah as is, is 17 years old that's good janopoulos 24 law five star weak foot 23 years old fullback okay sweeney whelan okay these guys are very low rated but this man right there five star skill moves oh my god 95 physicality are you kidding how tall are you six foot two tall striker our first massive talent has been found instantly let's take a deeper look into him striker slash center forward 79 pace 95 physicality with 63 shooting 63 dribbling 65 defending i don't know if it's if this is like the marquee talent that i've gotten uh, i think there is a thing where you if you pre-order the game you get the marquee talent and stuff but i didn't pre-order the game on pc so i genuinely think this might just be luck i'm not too sure if it is but um i downloaded the game this is the career mode that i started and as you can tell we are looking at one of the future leaders of this squad a man with incredible physicality 97 aggression 99 strength <laughs> this is amazing 85 stamina 78 sprint speed 81 acceleration okay reactions balance agility not that high vision 58 interception 68 what the hell you want to defend bro i don't want you to defend composure 62 attack positioning 66 ball control looking nice dribbling looking a bit low i'll have to admit long shots shot power strong lad strong freaking lad 76 stand tackle hey bro you're supposed to attack what you're doing with that with stand tackle that's like one of his best stats anyways we have found a leader for our team in an instant and harvey you my friend are going to be the captain of this squad he is immediately as the first talent of the squad 
Harvey is going to be the main man leading us. We're going to start off with a budget of 1 million, as you guys know. And we have a bunch of old players. So let's make sure we go ahead and make the right choices moving down the line. Now, we can't go about it like the rebuild, where we just sell everyone instantly. This has to be a slow process. We have to make sure that we go ahead and bring the uh, right players in at the right time and sell the players at the right time. Um, right now, what we can afford with our youth staff is going to be a scout who is, I mean, maybe three star, three star, maybe four star. We could maybe afford four star. I'm not too sure, but five star, five star, as you can see, costs 3.4 million. And that is a huge amount. I'll have to see how we make that happen, but it's going to be very hard to actually pull that off. Now in FIFA 22, I know that free agents are extremely overpowered. So I want to ask you guys in the comments down below, should we use the free agents? Yes or no. And in terms of free agents, I'm talking about players that are under the age of 18. So 18 and below could be eligible for us. Now, at the same time, I think it might be a little bit too OP, especially for the first two seasons. So what I, what I was thinking about was maybe we only start using free agents after the third season so let me know how you guys feel about that situation and uh, yeah go down into the comments down below now here is the wheel as you guys know the wheel has been standing around for quite some time and never really been used and now for the youth academy career mode it is time to use it at the beginning of each episode we're going to be spinning the wheel and we're going to see what comes out of it if it's a circle Okay, if it's an O, X's and O's. If it's an O, it is a good thing. If it's an X, it's a bad thing. There are 14 choices here, which means we have seven colors on this wheel. I need you guys to let me know in the comments down below seven things that we could apply to either team, the opponent or us. So, for example, let's say yellow would be increasing goalkeeper ability. If it's on the X of yellow, it is going to be our opponent's goalkeepers getting an increase in their ability for the episode that we're diving into. If it's a circle on the yellow, for example, what a terrible circle, by the way. <laughs> if it's a circle, it is going to be our goalkeeper getting a little bit of a boost. So from going from episode to episode, anything could happen. It could either be a really good thing or it could be a very, very bad thing for us going into the career mode. And I think this will add another little bit of spice to the episodes. At the beginning, we're going to be spinning this thing and seeing how things go. You can suggest anything you want in the comments down below. So hashtag wheel into the comments. Let me know what seven things could be applied to both sides and that we can apply to this wheel. And then we'll have a set going. And I'm ready for it. Also, another thing that I want to add into Youth Academy is going to be if certain players achieve massive things throughout the season. So, for example, the most clean sheets for a goalkeeper throughout the season, the most goals scored for a player in the league, the most assists uh, being taken on by one of the midfielders or attackers in the team. We can reward those players with attribute boosts if you guys want me to at the end of each season. I have access to in-game attributes of every single player in our team. I have the live editor that allows me to go ahead and change player stats if necessary. So let me know if that is something you want to take uh, into consideration as well as we do move forward. Maybe that's something that you guys would like to see. Maybe at the end of each season, instead of upgrading the best players, we have the ability to choose one of our lowest rated players and making him actually usable for our team and boosting him up in stats and making him viable for the squad. Let me know about your ideas. The, the, the uh, possibilities are just infinite right now with us playing career mode on PC. And that makes me so happy. All right, I've just gone through the development plans for each and every player in our team. Now let's focus on the older players in our squad. I think the ones above the age of 30 might have to let go. Now for the left wing position, before we make a decision, we got to look at who we have for that left hand side. It's going to be very important to make the right choices uh, because we will need the money, yes, to get better scouts in. But at the same time, we do need results as well. So for the wings, we have Powell here. We have Dale and Manning. 
and it doesn't look like we have much else going in the team and we do have wingers specifically throughout the entire uh in throughout the starting lineup so for now we can't sell any of these guys it's not a possibility as we speak we have walker as a right midfielder sure he could do a little bit of a deal but he's 48 rated so the old lad uh dale is going to be sticking around for now now when it comes to center back sane right here looks very good how many center backs do we have we have corbin we have nicole's um again we can't let go of him either we we might have to hold on to all the old players green 58 rated left back now what do we have we have law here and we have cooney and bert we could turn one of them into uh again it's, it put us into a situation where it's going to be very hard to get uh to get anything going in terms of money the preseason tournament is going to be the big moment and as you can see here lots and lots of players their contracts are going to be running out at the end of the year so which means we're going to have to spend a lot of money on extending contracts for players that we not necessarily want to keep around for too long so yeah a lot of these guys especially this guy for example rainer we're going to have to keep him around if we can i'm going to offer him just a smidge more than what he's earning right now 2.8k he luckily accepts uh, the ones that are young, the ones that have a future at the club, obviously will be sticking around. Well, I didn't think we would have a game going into today's episode, but you know what, guys? I am too keen on using Harvey. I want to see how he plays. This is going to be our first game. Preseason tournament is going to be so important for us to go ahead and try and win. So here it goes, guys. We're going to be stepping in there into the first game of our career. Eden Ossoy is going to be the leading man for this squad. Can Harvey lead this team to their first victory? I don't know, but this is our first game at home. Let's check out our stadium. Let's check out our fans and see how they react to us walking on. The Iceland chance should be on. Here we go. Connor Harvey, a debut to remember. It might just be the new captain of the squad. As we are going to be walking onto the pitch, it's raining. It's a mess exactly how you expect low level football to be whoa gameplay is extremely laggy that might be an issue guys i'm sorry about that i'm very sorry about that here he goes first chance lamb first goal for the club but i think i sadly think i might have to back off and i might have to go ahead and restart this this fifa game because we are having lag issues oh god first goal and the, the net didn't even move look at that ah oh, man it moves here but it didn't move earlier on great goal from our midfielder a great run in behind the defense they're ruined already things we love to see but i don't know if i can play the game like this guys nah this is not viewable for you so on pc obviously we will encounter some issues this one will be fixed very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and look up the issue and fix it and come back. So that means we're going to go ahead and quick sim the rest of this game. So it's a 2-1 win. Tyler scores in the end and Sane gets a red card. They had more possession, but we have won the first game of the preseason tournament. First attack. We somehow managed to score I like the start of this. So hopefully now the issues are fixed. I'm glad that the Academy won the first game. So that is very good to know. Uh, player has been suspended. Obviously, our highest rated center back has been kicked off immediately. Um, we have to play a very, very low rated center back now in the next game, I believe. So we're going to put in... I mean, I don't know who we're going to put in here. We have Nichols, who is 48 rated. I mean, that is low, isn't it? That is very low rated. But it is what we have to do. Harvey actually needs to play striker, by the way. Don't be playing center forward, please. We've got to put him into the right position. And that way, we might be able to engage with Victoria Berlin right now. So let's step in into the second game and hope it's going to be a little bit of a longer experience this time around. It's raining again. There it goes. This time it's looking much better. FIFA 22 Academy career mode. Here it goes. The Academy is ready to take on their opponents. I really like our kits, by the way. It might not look good it, it, like when you're close up, but I like, the, I like the look of it right now with the colors and stuff. So here we go. We're going to start off on legendary, by the way, guys. I still want to have fun playing the game. That doesn't mean I'm going to smash every single opponent, but I hate this game on ultimate difficulty. The AI just cheats at that point. So 
We don't want that to happen. Good ball down the wings. Can, do we have some pace in us? We do have some pace in us. Now, Harvey, I know you're huge. Harvey, the cross is for you. Get in there, lads. I need you in there. Ooh, good run here from Berlin. Yes, nice tackle. Get in. Love that. I really wonder, like, which ones of these players are going to be with us in, like, a couple of years. Because, obviously, it's just the beginning right now. And I assume we're going to find plenty of talents moving forward. Go on, then, Harvey. I feel like you're going to be the only lad that's going to be able to get past these people. Oh, look at that. Ah, I, I need to skill there. I need to skill quicker. Oh, there it is. The 40-something rated player gets that one. Oh, please play it to Harvey. Yes. Harvey, five-star skills. He sees his teammates. He makes a great run. He passes. And what a save instantly from the goalkeeper. We didn't start off as good as we did on the last game. That's for sure. Oh, this should be easy, right? This should be so easy for him. He should win this. Easy dubs. Oh, dude, I know for a fact Harvey's going to score a lot of he headers for us. Oh, by the way, Harvey has like the most boring haircut ever. Uh, if you guys want me to change it, we can go ahead and change it down the line. We have the ability to do so through the editor. Go on. Oh, I see an opening. One more. Golasso. No, what a save. One more. Ah, man. We need this money. We desperately need this money. I like this formation. I like this formation. Harvey. Harvey. Go on. Great pass. He's going for another assist. Ah, he might just have to take the shots himself. Hold on. Good cross. Volley. Oh, defender in the way. Go on then. Down the wing we go. Cross coming in inside. And Harvey's not going to get that. Terrible crosses, man. The passing play. I mean, I got to get used to the passing play. Uh, I'm trying to play passes as if these guys are like 80 plus rated, but they clearly aren't. <laughs> go on, Harvey in a good position. He sees his teammates. Go on. Whitaker, Yes! Go on! Harvey gets another assist. See? He is the target man for sure, but that haircut has to go. That haircut has to go. And we can change the haircut on every single player, guys. Every single player that is going to be coming through the Youth Academy. We can change their haircut. So don't you worry. If they look trash like Harvey does right now, we can make a change early on. Ooh. Big steal. Harvey, show me that strength, man. 99 strength, no? That didn't look like 99 strength. By the way, the fact that he's so good physically is going to allow us to not focus on his physical boosts at all. Hold on. Oh, that's great football, but an awful, awful finish. And this is what we're going to see a lot of times. Our opponent's going to play some great football, but they're going to mess it up. Now, if we spin the wheel and it helps their shooting... Well, then things might get a little bit different because obviously they will score a lot more goals and we can't allow them to run through. Especially at the beginning of the episodes when we do spin the wheel and something happens for our opponents getting boosted up in their stats. It's going to cause me to be so nervous going into these games because I know for a fact they're going to be much better than they normally would be. But I'm not going to make it like outlandish boosts it's gonna be i guess somewhat natural not natural but you know what i mean like it's not gonna be plus 50 on uh oh hold on harvey ah i wanted to test his left foot there um it's not gonna be like plus 30 in terms of their shooting ability it's gonna be like five to ten max harvey great positioning once again Harvey, make that run in the center. I'm going to be looking for you, Harvey. Cross is coming in. Are you there? He goes for a diving header. Ooh, great through ball. We're going to chase it down. Oh, we get outplayed easily. Oh, we get outplayed two times. <sighs> okay. Okay, Berlin. I see you. One, one of these. Great run. Great skill move. And great pace burst in between the two defenders. Unreal finish as well. That was a great goal. Falcao. Wow. Okay. Well, apparently Falcao is playing for Berlin. Obviously not the one we all know, but he might have some of his abilities by the looks of things. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This ain't nice. This ain't nice. This ain't nice. Please. Yes. Whew. Just about saved us there. Oh, my God. What a terrible pass. We're going to lose this. We're going to lose this. If he plays that, we're going to lose it. We're going to lose it. 90th minute, please stop. No, goalkeeper. Whew. Well, that was one 
hell of a game, guys. A first game is a victory. Second game is a draw. The Academy has struggled defensively. We are looking out of shape. We need Sane to come back from that red card instantly. So after the first game of our beloved youngsters, we are looking at Harvey. Oh, after our, the first two games, I should say. In the friendly matches, he has two assists, 7.2 average rating. Connor Harvey, guys, uh, let me know what you think about his uh, looks. What should we be coming up with? What haircut do you like? would you like to see on him? That's going to be an interesting one. But more importantly, can we get a better scout soon? We do need someone to come in and bring in the talents. And right now, a three-star, four-star scout would cost us 1.2 million. This preseason tournament is worth 800k, if I'm not mistaken. So we could possibly pick up that guy right there. He could be helping us a lot. I think that could be the perfect guy for our team. Let's move ahead in the calendar. Move over here and take a look at the, um, at the um, what's it called? The league table here. We're up against Longford Town. If we lose and Victoria Berlin wins as well, it's not looking good. We're going to have to play this one for sure. But... That is the beginning and the first episode of the Academy, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Eden Ossoy had a great start. And now we're going to be looking for them talents to work our way up League 2 in England. The preseason tournament is still our biggest priority and we're going to chase it down. We have found an incredible talent in Harvey. I have explained to you the wheel. Let me know once again about the wheel, what you want on it. Seven things that can impact both teams. Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, haircut for Harvey. All the questions that I've asked. Let me know the answers below. I'll try and read through every single one of your comments. Have a great day, guys. See you next time with the Youth Academy Career Mode. Take care and peace.